Today, I would like to talk about international political scene, which is changing very fast in the favor of Baloch people. Recently, the statement of uh, Indian Prime Minister in very high level all parties meeting uh, is very encouraging. I thank the Indian Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi Sahib, for, sp for, for speaking about Balochistan problem. I thank uh, Prime Minister Modi Sahib on the behalf of whole Baloch nation. And we hope that the Indian government, Indian media, and uh, whole Indian nation will not only raise their voices for Baloch nation, but also strive to help practically the Baloch independence movement. I would also like to uh, send a message to Indian government, Indian media, and the whole Indian people that uh, Pakistan's destructive role in Kashmir and its direct involvement in uh, terrorist attacks in India, such as Mumbai and uh, Patan Court, has been a very well exposed fact in this contest uh, raising the voice for Balochistan should not be a temporary reaction or counter strategy by the Indian government but should be a sincere intention of uh, the Indian people to support their oppressed Baloch brothers and sisters and also should be a very serious part of the foreign policy of Indian government. Uh, the Baloch nation and all the oppressed people of uh, the world still remember and respect the decision of uh, Indian government when India intervened and came for the rescue of Bengali people from Pakistani brutality in 1970s. Pakistan demands self-determination and self-rule of Kashmiris and at the same time in Balochistan they are crushing the same demands of Baloch people by force. This does not only expose the double standards of uh, Pakistan, but also their evil designs to disrupt the peace and uh, stability in the region. In the past, the role of uh, Indian media has not been very encouraging regarding Balochistan. If I may ask, uh, how many people know about uh, Shahid Nawab Akbar Bukti in India? He is to the Baloch people what Mahatma Gandhi is to the Indians. He was not only the leader of uh, the whole Baloch nation, but also an international figure who uh, spent his entire life struggling for uh, his people and was brutally assassinated by Pakistani army in a military operation in 2006. How many Indians know that uh, Baloch people are a secular nation and they respect all religious uh, religions equally? I would like to give an example here that uh, when the house of my grandfather was attacked and bombed by Pakistani forces on 17th March 2005, the majority of the 70 civilians killed uh, in that attack belonged to our Hindu community, including women and children who had taken refuge uh, in a temple which was hit. Uh, they used to live uh, inside the premises of our house because they felt safe there. So, um, again, how many people in India know that thousands of Baloch youth are being tortured and in the custody of Pakistani forces and more than 20,000 of uh, mutilated dead bodies of them have been recovered after they were tortured to death and their dead bodies dumped? How many people know that there is a military operation going on in every part of Balochistan? We are innocent Baloch civilians, including women and children, are being uh, killed on a uh, daily basis. Despite all these facts, I think uh, the recent uh, developments from Indian government and Indian media is very encouraging. And we hope that uh, Indian government and Indian media will continue this in future. Uh, in the end, and yes, uh, uh, I just want to say that I am a big fan of uh, Shah Rukh Khan and uh, Amitabh Bachchan Sahib and also want to uh, request both of them that uh, please make a movie on uh, Balochistan uh, because uh, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, uh, sir, you can do uh, the role of my grandfather very well um, and I hope uh, you both will not uh, disappoint uh, us. Once again, thanks everybody. Uh, who supports the Baloch cause and thanks the Indian media and thanks the people of India.